Hi everyone, and welcome to another edition of Literary Destinations, where we travel to places that were once home to the famous 19th century writer, Robert Louis Stevenson. Let me share my screen with you. Give me one moment. Okay. There we go. This is the Mercer County Library catalog, where I've done a basic search on uh, Robert Louis Stevenson. Stevenson was a Scottish novelist, poet, essayist, and travel writer, but he's probably best known for his works, Treasure Island, A Ch Child's Garden of Verses, Kidnapped, and The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Our library has a rich collection of Stevenson's books, audiovisual materials, biographies, and literary criticism, scholarly articles in both print and digitized forms. Our journey begins in Scotland, where Robert Louis Stevenson was born in 1850 on 8 Howard Street in Edinburgh. When he was six years old, his family moved to this sunny house on 17 Harriet Road. This is an engraving of Harriet Road uh, from Old and New Edinburgh. Today, it's possible to book a room and stay at the Stevenson's Childhood House on Harriet Road or stop in for a meal. Inside, you'll find this lavishly furnished dining room and a drawing room with bookshelves that reach the ceiling, as well as this original stone staircase leading up to the bedrooms. Here is a picture of one of the bedrooms. This endearing sculpture of Stevenson as a child is displayed in front of the Colinston Parish Church in Edinburgh. Stevenson's father was engaged in the family business of designing lighthouses. In 1867, Stevenson entered Edinburgh University as a science student, but he had no interest in becoming a civil engineer and joining his father's business. Instead, he spent much of his time studying French literature, Scottish history, and the works of Darwin and Spencer. His passion was in writing, although he did get a degree in law at the insistence of his parents. In 1867, when he was 26 years old, he had traveled to France, where he met and fell in love with Fanny Osborne, an American woman. Fanny was 11 years older with two children and at the time separated from her husband. A year later, he traveled to California and the two got married. This is the house they stayed in, in Monterey, California. It now houses the French Hotel. All his life, Stevenson suffered from poor health and a troublesome lung disease. He traveled to many places in pursuit of a climate that would improve his health conditions. One such place was the Cure Cottage at Saranac Lake, New York, where Stevenson spent some months in 1887. In January, 1890, he bought a 300-acre estate in Apia, Samoa, where the climate was tropical, the people were friendly. In the photo, the author is seen standing on the veranda of his house. He lived in this house till his death in 1894 at the age of 44. I hope you enjoyed this excursion back in history to the life and times of an author whose work continues to enchant millions of readers over generations. This is Nita Mather from the West Windsor branch of the Mercer County Library, signing off till next week.